All right. Uh, what we have here is a new problem that's a lot trickier than anything we've seen so far. Uh, what, we have an amusement park or roller coaster ride, and uh, the y-axis it tells us is talking about the distance that roller coaster travels in feet that's vertical, or in yards rather, and the x-axis would refer to uh, distance horizontally traveled in yards from the start of the ride. Now, the problem asks to describe the transformations from x squared to get to this. Well, some of us might look and say, oh, that's easy. That's a vertical reflection because it's on the outside. It's not in parentheses. So it's a vertical transformation. This is going to be a parabola. So it's upside down parabola. Uh, it looks like we're dividing by 30. So that would be a vertical shrink. And But then we have a problem when we come in here because we have a second x. So in pre-calculus, as well as algebra 2, you actually got introduced to this. We have a problem sometimes with parabolas. And that's that we need to change this to vertex form out of standard form. This is in standard form, ax squared plus bx plus c. So we need to change that. So here's what I've done. We're going to complete the square to get it out of that form into, standard, into vertex form. And so as a reminder, this is our ax term, ax squared term. This is our bx. This is our c. We need to get it out of that form. So here's those steps. Over here, I have step number one. Factor a from both a squared, ax squared, and bx. So our a is negative 1 over 30. So that's what I'm going to factor out here. Negative 1 over 30 is going to come out of this, and it leaves me with x squared. And then it's also, that looks like, doesn't look right, it looks like negative 1 over 30. So I'll put it like that. And I'm also going to have to pull it out of here. So the symbol is obviously going to change, but the 3 goes away, but I'm supposed to divide by 30. So Help me out. I'm just going to, well, those zeros would cancel each other, but I'm going to put it like that. It'll make it easier to see. If I pull a 30, now I'm left with 100x here. Now, uh, before I close this parentheses, I'm actually going to put a plus blank and close it, followed by a minus 100 over 30. And now I need to subtract a blank. And I'm really running out of room. Let me pull all this. Come on. Let me pull all this down. Okay. So I just did steps one and two here. Got steps one and two. Now step three tells me how to complete the square. You take your B term, you divide it by two. Get, is going to give me negative 50. And then you square that term. That's what that's telling you. Take your b, divide it by 2, square it, which gives you an AME 2,500 if you do the math. Now that 2,500 goes over here as well. But one thing that's not stated is this 2,500 doesn't just go alone. Since it's going to get multiplied by that a here, it also needs to be multiplied by that a there, so I'm going to actually fill in a negative 1 over 30 here. And we can see, before we simplify this, that these two negatives will actually cancel out and become positive. So now I'm on step 4, uh, which is to simplify. The purpose for doing uh, completing the square is that it will automatically factor the whole equation so that this becomes x minus 50 quantity squared. If we did the x method of this, that's what we'd get. So this number always goes here. That's the point why you do completing the square. It gives you this term to turn this into a binomial. Now I have this over here. I have uh, negative 100 over 3 plus, it looks like 2,500 over, over 30. So I can cancel that out and it would be over here I'd have negative 100 over 3 plus 250 over 3, which is equal to positive 150 over 3, which also equals 50. So here on the outside of my equation, I should have plus 50. And now I can name everything else uh, on this equation. I now know I have this, and I can name 
my uh, transformations. I'm gonna let you wanna pause, you can pause the video, try to name, there's one, two, three, four transformations, see if you can name them, and then pick back up and I'll see if you got the same things I did. And so now, here are the reflections, or the transformations. I have a reflection, it's outside, so it's vertical, meaning over the x-axis. I have a vertical shrink, again, it's on the outside. This is inside, so it's horizontal, so shift right 50, because it's backwards. This is outside, so it's vertical or normal, shift up 50. Now let's look at the next part of this problem. We now have the same problem, but it, down there below it says, suppose the, uh, the ride designers want to increase the highest point to 70 yards. So how would you do that? Well, you need the highest point on the outside being plus 70. So what I've done is, rather than have to flip back and forth and change the equation, I just wrote it out. Remember how it was before plus 50? That's the highest point, because this is an upside down parabola. It was 50, we just changed it to a 70. Now I want you to try to work this out here. All right? Try to uh, complete the square and see what you come up with. To give you a hint and some help, uh, you should be able to come up with the transformations that match your answer choices here.